everyone, my name is Erica. I have a neighbor who just retired from the military. He was deployed in Afghanistan for over a year. He has post-traumatic stress disorder, or some people call it PTSD. He's working with a recreational therapist to help him adjust to civilian life and deal with his disorder. I had never heard of recreational therapy before, but I saw my neighbor and the therapist doing all sort of neat stuff. So I decided to approach her and ask her about her job. She told me that recreational therapy helps people with disabilities, injuries, or illnesses to restore and rehabilitate the person's level of functionality and independence in daily life. Recreational therapists use different activities such as arts and crafts, gardening, music, dance, sports, games, and community field trips to help their patients. The therapist told me that people who have strong leadership and communication skills and like to help others are ideal candidates for this type of job. And that totally describes me. I did some research and found out that in order to become a recreational therapist, a person must earn a Bachelor of Science in Recreational Therapy. Some universities offer a Bachelor of Science in Exercise and Sports Science with a concentration in Recreational Therapy. These programs included coursework with topics such as Leisure Education and Counseling, Anatomy and Physiology, Psychology, Medical Terminology, Human Growth and Development, and Professional Standards and Ethics. In order to become a recreational therapist, a person must earn a certification from the National Council for Therapeutic Recreation by passing a written exam and doing at least 480 hours in internship. There are also graduate degrees in recreational therapy. I can also go to my local community college and get an Associates of Applied Science degree in recreational therapy. This program will allow me to become an assistant to a therapist. Recreational therapy assistants can work in hospitals, rehabilitation centers, prisons, nursing homes, schools, and residential facilities. 